My name is Elsa, and I've spent my whole life in Alaska's Tongass National Forest. A big reason the Tongass is so special is because it's one of the largest temperate rainforests left on Earth. The Tlingit, Haida, and Shimshian people have stewarded the Tongass for over 10,000 years. But since Alaska became a state in the 1950s, the U.S. government has relentlessly promoted clear-cut logging of the rainforest. In 2019, the Trump administration made plans to axe the roadless rule, which protects nearly half of the Tongass. Many Alaskans were shocked. A few friends and I decided to sail through this island rainforest to document what was at stake. We sailed 350 miles through the Tongass and witnessed dozens of threatened old growth stands. Fortunately, the public had the chance to weigh in. Along with the hard work of tribes and nonprofits, we did our best to spread the word. Over 170,000 comments were submitted, and 95% of Americans supported protecting the Tongass. In response, the Biden administration and the U.S. Forest Service have restored the roadless rule. They even promised to end all large-scale old-growth logging on the Tongass, offer more meaningful consultation with tribal nations, and to provide $25 million for projects like indigenous-led restoration of clearcuts. For Alaskans, it's a relief to know that the roadless forests we love are safe again. And with climate projections becoming more dire, the Tongass has even more reason to be protected. 20% of all the carbon in our national forests is stored right here. We're grateful to the Biden administration and everyone who made their voice heard. But our work isn't done. Let's continue to advocate for even stronger protections, safeguards for the Tongass that can last for generations to come.